Today's the day. We're gonna go bag that peak. We're not bringing the gun because I'm packing light, but we're bringing the bear spray because we are in grizzly country. The summit should be 9,324 feet. And from there, if it's clear, we'll be able to see the highest point in all of British Columbia, Mount Waddington. Either way, should be able to find some beautiful landscapes. Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. Uncle Lee, we've been over this. Over what? Everything's already been found. Oh man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I built a rig and we're hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter and this is Destination Adventure. This home. Beautiful lake up here. Imagine the size of the pump you would need to pump water from the lake all the way up there. <laughs> it's a lot of push. This is the beginning of the switchbacks. I think we should be able to follow them all the way up. Here we go. That's as far as the bike's going. This e-bike has a crazy powerful motor, 1500 watts. This was so steep coming up here, maxed it out quite a few times. She made her, but it was pushing it. Hi, don't get stolen. Last time I came up here, I came up that road. It was pretty radical and I never did make the summit. So today's gonna be a cool first for me. thinking I can just follow this ridge line all the way. Shouldn't be too bad. Beautiful lake over there, nice and blue. find an asteroid. Doubt that's what this is, but mixed amongst all these regular colored rocks was this little guy. Super heavy for its size. No idea though.
last bit along the cliff here is pretty radical. But I can see what I think is maybe a piece of science equipment up here. So that's got to be the tippy top. Got to make it to the top. Well, that's about all the mountaintop I need today. The weather has been good. Everything has gone exactly to plan. Let's not push our luck. Plus, I want to drive down off the mountain today. <laughs> Let's make it happen. <sighs> Looks like it's been up here for quite some time. I'm so happy I clued into this before leaving. I found a thing to sign. So I signed it, put it back, and this big pile of rocks right here, people have put this here. And I'm gonna add the Destination Adventure Rock. <laughs> the highest one on Birkin's Peak. Suck it, everybody else. Let's get out of here. <laughs> It feels so good to see that bike right there. I'm done with hiking. time on the mountain here was everything I hoped for and a little bit more but I'm stoked to be going down today I've already selected my camp spot for the night it's nothing fancy it's just one of those spots that I stop at every time I'm heading west so it'll be nice to call it home for a night but I think it's gonna be a late night Appears to be a little bit too steep to stop here. The truck's trying trying to roll away on me. Slight bit of a change of plans. 
I was hoping to stay at Clean and Clean River, but unfortunately the station close to there at Tatla Lake is out of diesel. So we've had to make a bit of a detour in the wrong direction to Nimpo Lake, got some supplies and fuel, and managed to find this beautiful camp spot right by the river. Not sure what river that is, but it's awfully nice. I'm already missing the weather at the top of the mountain, but it's all right. We can crank the AC because today's a travel day. Let's make some tracks. fun position right now because we're kind of just freestyling it. I'm waiting for one more big dump of mail before I can head north. There was a couple different locations I wanted to check off on this trip in the Chilcotin. So we're just going to start heading in the direction of one of them and see what we can find. This road widens, this sky crazy just how fast the weather can change. Just like that, we're right back into the smoke. The wind is really picking up today, so I don't expect it to last all that long, but it's probably gonna inhibit our glorious landscape views. So we're gonna try and track down a lead that I've been holding on to for a couple of years, actually. Just been waiting for the right excuse to go try and find it. Welcome to the localiest of local secrets. Known by myself, a handful of locals, maybe like three other people. Might not even be down this road, but I've been told that there's something down one of these roads that I want to fill. So we're trying this one first. It's not what we're looking for, but it's pretty radical. Almost as radical as this mushroom. Look at the size of that bad sow. As a kids, we just called them puff balls. I don't really know what they are. Neat old shack though. Oh, some type of critter in there. Wow, they had a big basement. That's not something you see very often. Pretty cool though. Well, keep moving. The road has turned into hardly even a trail, but I found something at the back of it. I don't think it's what we're looking for, but it's a pretty remarkable find. Let me show you the property first. It's very overgrown. It's obvious no one's been here in many, many years. There's a beautiful little creek right here. And then this big cabin. I mean, it's more than just a cabin. Freaking beautiful home, really. The structure itself is in like mint condition, perfect condition. So you can see just from the deck it's been sitting a long time. This is cool though. I'm assuming that was kind of like bar seating. Little stools or chairs there. I'm not sure what the story is with this secondary deck here. Nice clear water. This is a beautiful spot, but it's not what we're looking for. There is a chance it's related to what we're looking for though. 
Might be getting close. Look at this thing. I kind of think this is an old mill of some kind. Not 100% sure. Love to hear your opinions on that one. I only think so because this almost looks like a rail system, but maybe not. Let me know what you think. Before I tell you my opinion on this spot, let's see if we can find the other one, because they might be related. Found another road, not nearly as overgrown. Might be on the right track. Just going to walk right in the rib. Holy smokes. <laughs> I think I got a little soaked. I think I'm at least heading in the right direction. Managed to find some type of outdoor cooking something. And then a picnic table. And I looked up and I can see a building and another building. I think we found it. Something has been chilling right here. And judging from this old bear scat, this little bear scat, and this big fresh bear scat, and this fish head, twas probably a bear. Good news though, we found it. So let me tell you at least what I've been told about it. So this house was built by a German man who had a dream of coming and immigrating over here and spending retirement in the wilderness of the Chilcotin. After he finished building it, unfortunately he passed. And I don't know if there's some dispute within the family of what's gonna happen to it or if nobody's interested in it, but it's sat out here ever since. And that looks to be possibly decades. Look at the size of these logs. And that's as much rain as it's had over the years. Beautiful place though, and beautiful construction. A lot of love and work went into this. And greenhouse there. Wow, beautiful wood floor. Getting wrecked by the pack rats. The attention to detail is very nice. I like this rock work out front there. Interesting staircase. What a strange little door. Oh my goodness, this goes to the greenhouse. <laughs> How cool is that? Looks like the greenhouse wasn't finished. A couple panes of glass sitting there. Oh, I love that the access to this, well, it looks like there would have been one there, but never seen a greenhouse that you can access from inside the regular house. What a shame to see this. All the pack rats just destroying this place. I mean, it's definitely still salvageable, but I have a feeling that this is one of those places that's never gonna be sold. It'll just sit here and rot until it's worth nothing, unfortunately. You can see there definitely is some European influence in the architecture. A little 
propane lamp. That's cool. Breakfast is served. <laughs> oh yeah, look at these saloon style doors. I dig it. Large pantry. You know what, I'm curious if this place was ever actually finished. Surprised to see all this exposed wiring. And unfinished plumbing. With there only being one table <laughs> for furniture, I have a feeling nobody ever spent any time in here. Surprised they covered the table though. Everything else is looking pretty nasty. Okay, are these stairs gonna hold me? I feel pretty good. All right, is this top floor gonna hold me? Feels pretty good. Well, it's meant to hold a hot water tank, so I should be all right. Oh man, nasty. Yeah, I think this place was never actually finished. So sad, a lot of work into this. Oh, yeah, you guys know what this room is. Got your mood lights there and there. Got your speaker and the radio. Oh, yeah. This right here, this is the smush room. Well, that's the grand tour, I guess. I could, I think I can see some more buildings through the trees over here, so. We'll go and take a look, but I'd like to find a better way to keep this door closed. It's not perfect, but it'll help. Pretty cautious going around here. You never know where a bear could have moved in and called home. But there's other buildings here. Just trying to find the best way to get over there. Back there. At first I thought this was going to be a guest cabin, but it kind of doesn't look like it. Total freaking pizza oven. Radical. It's hard to tell. Looks like there's a large structure over there. See if we can find our way over. What a rad little guest cabin that is.
This is crazy. This is not that far from the main cabin, but it does not look related to me. Everything's just been left behind here. I mean, totally destroyed by pack rats. <laughs> and you can see right through to the sky now, like this floor is just rotten. Crazy they just left it though. And I'm curious why they have two wood stoves. That big one and this little one. Just this little guy would do enough to heat this place. Calendars from 1999. So there you go. And the last visitors, 99. There's supposed to be a ring on here. I can solve that puzzle. <laughs> hmm. Not sure what that game is. Of course, the friggin' pack rats have found everything shiny they could and piled it up in a nest. Anyways, let's get out of here before I get the hint of virus. Absolute paradise out here. The ridge cap is starting to come apart up there. You can see it's missing big chunk right there in the middle. Who knows the age of that roof, but the cedar looks to be in decent condition. But unfortunately, it has an expiration date now with that ridge cap the way it is. Yep, condenser from a moonshine still right there. <laughs> I thought this was a freezer, but I can't quite tell what it is. Oh, it's a washing machine. Or is it? <laughs> Somebody in the comments right now is making fun of me. You know what, that's a freaking washing machine and dryer. For sure. I have a feeling no one's ever coming back for this place, but that should at least keep the bears out for another year or two anyways. Let's cheese this joint. Been waiting a couple years for the chance to go and try and track this one down so it's nice to finally cross it off the list but regardless of condition i still don't want to disclose this location but i hope you guys enjoyed the video most of all thanks for watching everybody as always take nothing but pictures leave nothing but footprints and i'll catch you on the next one